Hello and welcome back to the Gage Look and Sparta Reborn in Hearts of Iron 4. <laughs> so, getting good views on this, which is great. I have a feeling this may not be a hugely long campaign as we don't have massive objectives. But if you remember in the last video, Serbia is about to do the ultimatum with Bulgaria and we are part of the same faction as them. So, hopefully, there'll be a war. <laughs> now, Bulgaria is pretty strong. So we'll see how it goes. They don't have much on the border, but I'm hoping, I think it's likely the Ottomans will get involved. We'll see, we'll see. I think we'll break through initially. We just don't have enough troops to really break through. That being said, Serbia does have quite a few troops. Now, Infused, you did comment that you wanted to see around the world, and of course we did do that, but I'll make a point of showing around the world, maybe in the middle of the video, uh, the start of the video, the middle and the end, just so you can see. So let's have a little tune through. Obviously, there's still this going on in Spain. Do you want to see the factions as well first? So this is the factions. We've got the Entente, we have the Reichsbat, we have the Eastern Syndicalist Union, and we have the, the Co-Prosperity Fear. So, Sphere, sorry. So it's, it's not a bad. The Japanese could end up being quite powerful, I have a feeling, in this game. Obviously, the US is still absolutely mad. The United States don't exist anymore. And normally I see the Pacific States of America win, however I have a feeling the combined syndicates of America may win this one, so it'll be interesting to hear, see how that goes. And of course over here there's a slot. We're in the Belgrade pack with Syria, and uh, Syria with Serbia, and we will see how it goes. We've got low manpower. I have turned the mod coring states on, which allows you to very, very, core, very, very slowly core um, states, basically. Um, I don't think it'll be hugely beneficial for us, but it's just the manpower could make this campaign very, very slow otherwise. Uh, but that also counts for the AI, I should say. So, cheat, yes. Cheat for everybody also, yes. So, evens out. Um, and they cheat with manpower anyway. So, there we go. Okay, let's go. I've got on speed 4 at the moment. Um, we could go to speed 5, but I'm very intrigued to see what happens next. One thing I realised I wasn't doing was creating an agency. This probably isn't the right time to do it though. Let's maybe just wait for the war, I think. Oh, the Cairo Pact. Now, Egypt, I think Egypt would be, I think I said this in the last video, could be a very fun state to play. I do wonder if they have anything to go back to like ancient Egypt style, uh, rather than like sort of modern Arabic Republic. I'd love to be yeah, I, I quite like the idea of them. It doesn't look like there's anything specific, although they have a nice chain by the looks of things. We'll definitely do an Egypt campaign, I've decided. Um, obviously you can go down absolute monarchy route and so forth. It's a shame you can't be like ancient Egypt Republic or something, but uh, uh, Empire. That's fine. Okay, let's do this. Where are we? so close. Okay, let's just put this guy out there. Get in there, my friend. And what are our time plates like? They're okay. There's not much point in putting too much more in. Um, we do have fighter support, don't we? We do. Not much. I can't imagine Bulgaria has a huge amount of fighters or anything. They're definitely stronger than us. Although, we should catch up with them. Just military factories we're a bit low on. Actually, don't remember what we're building. A military factory and a uh, oil refinery. Which is probably the wrong things to build, but... Okay. The Bulgarian government refused an ultimatum of Serbia to hand over all territories seized. Okay, so we've got 5,000 extra manpower. And we're now in... Well, we're not actually in a... Are we in a war? We should be. So I think I would rather wait to go to war economy. So let's just wait until we're pulled into this war. I presume we're getting pulled into this war. There we go. Call to arms. So we are going to lose this part, I think. Which is a shame. Okay, what's going on here? What decisions do we have? Ah, oh, we don't want war propaganda, not too interested. Oh, really? We can't do war economy? 
that is a shame. Do we want to do anything here? Chief of Army. Well, we definitely want to do something here, but what do we want? Do we want to go for something as simple as division attack? I think we probably do. Plus 10% is not to be scoffed at. Okay, it looks like we'll break through into Florina. Perfect. Greece will receive default major status in the war. Now that we are war, we need to stand show. Oh, okay. Not entirely sure what that means, but I think it's better for the peace treaties. Oh, we've got three military factories now. Okay, let's just pop it into that. You go in there, please. If you can get into their airport. I don't know what they're like in terms of air force. They have more divisions than us. But I have a feeling we'll win this. I've often seen the Ottomans attack in this situation, which would be extraordinarily helpful. Let's try and just get around them, shall we? So they have some fortifications here, which is why our relatively poor infantry are not going to manage it. Why? Oh, I want Macedonia, you know. If I remember rightly, Macedonia is full of resources. Could we request it? They'd never give us it, would they? Ask for control. I mean, I wouldn't give us them. Okay, rubber processing. That's fine. So this, we're going to try and stick to military equipment on this side. Can we do improved artillery? Definitely not. Support, yeah, let's get field hospitals. Manpower is going to be an issue for us, regardless of coring states or not. And I don't really mind, folks, if you think that's cheating. Um, <laughs> to be blunt, um, everybody else gets it, and obviously the AI will, will cheat. Hey, we want to have a relatively fun campaign. I wouldn't do it in my own campaign if it was just me. We're actually doing better than I thought here, you know. Oh, that's going to be a boost for us. Improved infantry equipment for sure. Well, actually, not. Not well. Soft attack does increase. Okay, let's go for excavation. We're actually all right for oil, I think. Daily gains not much, but our current consumption is also very little. I would like to start producing more planes if possible. Okay, so our lines have joined up, that's very nice. So we may as well do this. Do we want to produce cavalry maybe? They're pretty crap, but we don't have huge amounts of equipment. Do we want to produce some more troops? I think we have to. Support weapons, that's another biggie for us. It's too far ahead. Let's get some mountain infantry. I think that's going to be important. Okay, we can go to war economy. That's a big one for us, actually. It's going to push up a few things for us. Okay, let's see if we can break through there just a little bit. Well, we've kind of got to a stall point here, so let's let's put the speed up a little bit. I am just a little bit worried. What does this do again? Now, I've went down that route because I want full recovery. Arguably, this is more important right now. Yeah, let's go for that. I do really want full recovery, but I'm concerned. About manpower, generally. Okay, that went rather well there. Okay, so we're definitely pushing through. They're struggling, clearly, now. I believe my general's pretty good. Doesn't have huge attack. Uh, he's not that good. Don't know what I was thinking. Cavalry troops. Guerrilla fighter. Nah, that's not too important for him. I'm gonna have to be very select, um, 
very selecting, sure, uh, with what I take for my generals, because my generals are going to be very important. So this is going really well, actually. <laughs> Sorry if I sound surprised, but you know my skill levels in these games are not always up to par with other YouTubers. Well, we might have to might have pushed the bridge too far there. Oh yeah, if we can take that, that'd be good. Makes the line a little smaller. And indeed, if we were to push into there, now, I really want Macedonia. What? 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 No, I don't want either of them. Well, I might actually, to be fair, but not quite yet. Okay, you may as well break through. And you stop wasting your manpower there. And just break through into Scotch. I don't know how to pronounce that. I've actually been there. I can't pronounce it. Okay, I think we're pushing ourselves a little bit too much at the moment. Ah, okay. So if we could get to Sofia, there's a potential reward by the sense of it. We're not going to get there. It's worth a bit of fun though, isn't it? They are breaking through relatively easily. Which does surprise me. Oh, we just lost something there. No troops though, 10 and 2. What is this? Now, unfortunately, we did not manage to get there quickly. And we are losing a little bit of ground, so we have to be a bit careful. We're now... Ah, nice. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so I actually do want that state now. If you can give me it. Of Poirot. Ah, that's a bit weird, but sure, I'll take it. Really don't need that state, but sure. Okay, we're not going to be able to take Sophia. Sof. I don't know how to pronounce it. Why can't I pronounce that? It seems like it should be an easy thing. I feel like Serbia is not pushing that much, you know. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Sorry, I'm zooming in and out a lot. Okay, let's break this down entirely. Okay, invest in ornaments. And let's get... Oh, we can't get legacy. Of course we can't. What was I thinking? Idiot. Need all the other things first. Okay, let's just take these buggers out, can we? So you know what bugger you... Albania has joined oh, the Austrian faction. Shit. That could be problematic in the future for us. Well, we'll have a reasonable defensive line, hopefully, here. Serbia will be demolished. Okay, it looks like we're going to take Sofia. Don't know if that will actually end the war, to be fair. Okay, anything else we can do here? I don't think we want to go up conscription level. Do we want to limit exports? I think we do, you know. Let's go to limited exports. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, we took Sophia. Beautiful. Serbia, we're going to leave you to take this out. Because I think this is a bit ridiculous now. Is there two different countries here? Ah, the Russian Republic are sending volunteers. How is Russia doing? 
I presume you're at war with that because oh, you're not. Look at this stupid. <laughs> it's fine. Please just win this already, would you? You can't be too far away from Capitulate. Oh, you are a long way. So we've lost 30k. That's a lot for a country like ours. Okay, so let's put this up to some local police force. And yeah, use the garrison troops. Have we actually built them properly yet? No. So let's remove... Let's pop in the militia there because they're a bit cheaper. Uh, engineering company, but we'll also get what do you call it? The military police. Next time we have a research slot. I presume we have air superiority. Uh, not, not exactly. We should have. And we will get it. Over time I imagine. Hmm. Sorry if you heard that. Okay, it looks like we're going to take that out now, which is nice. Okay, so I think we'll actually stop your advance and put in a new line. Okay, that's fine. I just skipped something there and I don't know what it was. Rebellion in Yemen. I'm sure for you guys that are interested in that, you will pause and read it. Okay, so dispersed industry. Okay, so we've actually got a new industry bonus, so we will go for that. It's ahead of time, but 15% factory output is massive. So the Ottoman Empire are actually at war with the Cairo, the Cairo Pact, which is interesting. The Reichsbach is so powerful. I'm a little bit concerned by this block. If we can take the majority of Bulgaria rather than Serbia, that could be really good for us. Okay. Oh. We paused there for a second. I think we'll be able to take this, in honesty. A shriek declared war on the Ottoman Empire. Okay, take. Just jump through there. And we'll push right in. The Ottoman Empire declared war on Yemen. There's a lot going on down here. The Ottoman Empire does look like it's collapsing, which in the long run is going to be good for us. Well, we don't want it replaced with a huge Cairo pact or something. Okay, beautiful. You get into Plovdiv. Let's do some encirclement if we can. Oh. New soldier two new soldiers. And how are we looking here? Definitely need infantry equipment. We're not doing terribly though. Oh shit. That was a mistake. Let's reduce the size of our line, shall we? Advancements in mining. Beautiful. Full recovery. And that's a biggie for us because it removes that, which is not huge anymore, but it's still not very good. Okay, so you're about to leave. So let's just get in there. Completely surround them. You're also about to leave. And we will let you leave. And we will move in. Come on. I don't mind that you're not making it past. I'm presuming these militias, I think they're militia, are really weak. I don't know. They don't look super weak actually. The Russian Republic declared war on Turkestan. Uh, 
Poland. No wonder. Look at this border growth. The Russian Republic may end up being quite a powerful unit. They seem to be somewhat aligned with us, or at least Serbia. So that could be beneficial for us. Let's get through there. Okay. So this is a big choice for us. Do we want to be fascist? I don't know. So, monarchist sympathies in Greece will be increased. Social liberalism. I mean, honestly, I don't really care. It's just about which route we go down. They're all very similar, actually. Who's currently in power? Social Liberals. What will that give me? Oh no, that's Market Liberalism. Social Liberalism. Silent Workshouse. Resource Gain Efficiency. I like the Resource Gain Efficiency, I'll be honest. So I'm going to do it. Resistance to Occupation. I don't really care, to be honest. You can push in, that'd be great. Serbia, are you honestly losing? Oh, you stay there just in case. I think you are. Ah, bollocks. What just happened there? Are we doing badly now? 